All right, good morning, comrades. Today is going to be something special. No, I'm not really talking about the Senna. I'm uh, very sorry if I have to disappoint you. It just happened to be my shot and I decided, well, it could be a nice picture for thumbnail, right? Do you feel clickbaited now? Well, that's how YouTube works. But you know how also YouTube works is that we are still, regardless, are going to have some cool content. Namely, gotta say something. Um, viele Leute sind noch immer begeistert, wenn ich Deutsch spreche, weil, ja, ich weiß nicht mehr, weil normalerweise ich spreche immer Englisch auf meinem Kanal, aber ich muss auch sagen, dass ich lebe hier schon sechs Jahre lang und das, ich, ich glaube, man kann einfach erwarten, dass man Deutsch sprechen kann nach sechs Jahren lang, aber jeder spricht immer Englisch hier, deswegen bekomme ich nicht so viel Übung. Aber noch dazu muss ich sagen, dass eigentlich ich auch Nederlands spreche. Und viele von Menschen sagen auch immer, oh, was, wow, spreche Nederlands? Ein bisschen Vlaams Akzent. Das ist nicht echt Vlaams, das ist eigentlich Nord-Brabants, äh, eigentlich Helmonds. Ja, ich snap die Geile. Äh, und äh, ja, äh, omdat ich eigentlich in Nederland bin, in Nederland bin opge opgegroeid. Ähm, äh, und, Конечно же, я также говорю по-русски, потому что я родился в России, вы это все это видели, когда я в том году катал свою бабушку по рингу. And now the, my subscribers, the long base subscribers, gonna say, oh, he's gonna talk French. Well, I actually forgot it, so I, I think it's gonna be like this honest if I gonna like come up with some sentences. Or Italian, I used to speak that as well, but the only thing I remember now is like, porca puttana, che cazzo fai, oh! Um, but... The purpose of this video is, as you know, since January, I moved to Croatia to work at the Rimac Automobili. And uh, some people think I'm Croatian because apparently I look like one, but my, also my car has Croatian plates. And when people like, when Croatian media is writing something about my car or laps of the never cream, people think I'm Croatian. Or people ask, are you going to learn, study Croatian? And the answer is yes, because Rimac Automobili is offering Croatian courses, which for me, because I joined the company like in January, for me, they're gonna start in like June or something. But I decided still like, hey, let's make a move on. And like last week I decided like, okay, re really to learn Croatian, but it's not really necessary because in Croatia, everyone is speaking English. Like 60 year old lady at the cash counter in the supermarket speak perfectly English. All the movies are tra non-translated. They are all English. And that's why, well, it's not necessary, but still I'm gonna do it. So today we're gonna have a Croatian lesson on the Nürburgring. And um, uh, what else do I wanna say? Yeah, and I think, you know, uh, I can just like kind of like okay decide to learn it and see where I go but you know what let's try to make a target to by the end of the year try to narrate the whole lap of Nürburgring in Croatian and it would be cool if maybe like Matt Rimac himself gonna join me on a lap because he allowed me to uh, lap the C2 so I can return the favor by going out with him for a lap of well with the tractor <laughs> Ja, geil, ne? 270 Euro. In Kroatien, geht. Okay. Ja. Mal runter. Jo, danke. Right. Ciao. Yeah, so Croatian license plate is getting uh, lots of love. But yeah, we're going to do a Croatian lesson. So uh, we're going to connect the AUX and uh, uh, we're going to do some Croatian lessons. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Top Gear. In the back when Stig was playing some Croatian last or like this is unit 12 there we go. of Pimsler's Croatian. Listen to this telephone conversation. Okay. In it you will hear Davor oh, on Davor. the phone with his friend Mirna. He will introduce himself by saying Ovdje Davor. This is Davor. Listen. Hello Mirna. Hello. Ovdje Davor. Dobar dan. Dobar dan. Mirna, biste li danas htjeli ručati sa mnom? Mm. Ne danas, sutra na večer. Dobro? Rado. U koliko sati? U sedam? Ne, kasnije, molim vas. U osam sati? Dobro. Onda sutra na večer u osam sati kod vas. Doviđenja. And basically I think it's cool that you try to Listen learn again. the uh, language and I, I will have to talk back later Listen while again. still driving because Hello. then your brain really like needs to do lots of things. Dobar dan. So. Mirna, biste li danas htjeli ručati sa mnom? Ne danas, sutra na večer. Dobro? He's getting fully Rado. dismissed. U koliko sati? U 7? Ne, kasnije, molim vas. U 8 sati? Dobro. Onda sutra na večer u 8 sati kod vas. Doviđenja. Mm, no, Doviđenja, Mirna. 
Imagine you're talking to a Croatian woman. You I want can... to invite her out. I How can does do she that. say, not this evening? Uh, ne večeras. Ne večeras. Yes, first point, bam. <laughs> ne večeras. Yeah, that's getting full dismissal there. Ooh. Say, then tomorrow Traction evening. control. That's how you get accidents with traction control. What? On the sutra na večer. Oh, then tomorrow evening. That's what he asked me to say. Hmm. On the sutra na večer. The next. At six o'clock. Uh. Uše sati. Yeah. Uh -huh. And eight thirty-six uh, o'clock. She can't at six. <laughs> say uh -huh. then at seven o'clock. Uh, on the. U sedam sati. Onda u sedam sati. Onda u sedam sati. Yeah, I got this right. It's all fine. Seven o'clock. We're gonna go for a date on the Evergreen. How does she Actually, ask? Track is what time be it is? Uh, koliko je sati? It's koliko time. Koliko je sati? Look, plats o'clock. Woohoo! Koliko je sati? Tell her it's four o'clock. Četiri su sata. Četiri su sata. Mm. Yes. Mark for Četiri golf o'clock. Four o'clock, I mean, yeah, that's kind of makes sense, huh? Say, no, it's five o'clock. Ne, pet je sati. Ne, pet je sati. Yeah, getting the words proper there. Pet je sati. Now say, I want to have dinner at seven o'clock. Uh, htio bih uh, nešto pojiti. Želim oh, no, večerati yeah. u sedam sati. Yeah, it was almost good. It's like, you have two ways of saying that. Želim nešto pojiti. Večerati. Ah, uh, večerati. Eating and having Želim dinner. Želim večerati u sedam sati. But I mean, we're, we're making the same. You want to eat, right? It doesn't matter what time of the day. She asks, do you want to have dinner today? Viste li danas... Želite li danas večerati? Yeah, večerati. Exactly. Želite Say, yes, please. Uh, da, molim vas. Or molim te. Da, molim vas. I want to have dinner with you this evening. Uh, želim večerati s, uh, večeras uh, s vama. Želim večeras večerati s vama. There we go. Mm. Kinda. Želim večeras večerati s vama. I need to find out how you say... I want to take a lap of when would you like to have dinner? Kada... Kada biste htjeli večerati? Yes. Driving and talking at the same time doesn't work too good. How does she answer? Today at 10 o'clock. Danas u deset... U deset? Yeah. Danas u deset sati. Ah, 10 o'clock. Or just 10. Being casual here, it's fine. Danas. Now she asks, do you want a glass of wine now? Uh, I'm doing informal, like, do you want, instead of like... I think it kind of both works. Give me comments, my Croatian audience. I have so much Croatian audience. Answer, so no you thank give you. Me some... I want to drink a beer. Ne hvala, želim čašuraki. Ne hvala, želim popiti pivo. I mean, cup of rakija, who, I mean, you're a real Croatian or not, right? Respect the speed limit here for pivo. a bit. Oh, it's yellow anyway, so. It's another day, and you are speaking with an acquaintance. Okay. Ask what time it is. Uh, koliko je sati? It's bright shite wall o'clock. Koliko je sati? How would she tell you? It's three o'clock. Watching for the yellow. How do you say yellow in, in, uh, in Croatian? I know blue is... This is how you say, I don't want to drink anything now. Poslušajte. Listen. I know Poslušajte. blue of Kaiman is blava. Ne želim sada ništa popiti. Ne Two želim sada ništa corner. popiti. You're actually saying, I don't want now nothing to drink. I don't want being overtaken <laughs> in this corner. Ne ništa popiti. Ne želim sada ništa popiti. I don't want to drink. I actually do want to drink because it's kind of getting thirsty from talking. Ništa. Ne želim sada ništa popiti. 
Which word means nothing Nishta. or not anything? Which is similar to Neshta, which is something. Nishta. And it's the same in Russian, actually. So Nishta. Croatian is very similar to Russian. She or asks, Russian do you want something to drink? They do in the, the formal one. I like to do Nešta. the informal. You see, if you're going out with a girl... Say the word for nothing. Nishta. Nishta. Say it's 10 o'clock. Deset je sati. There we go. Deset je sati. Ooh, mood curve o'clock. Full throttle. I don't want to drink anything now. Ne hoćem ništa popiti. Ne želim sada ništa popiti. Ah, yeah, now and the different word of wanting. Am I right? Ne želim sada ništa popiti. Let me know if I'm like kind of getting it somewhere. We have a long way to go if I want to do a whole lap. She asks, when do you want to have dinner? Kada želite večerati? Okay, this time I had it right, all the word, all the forms. Želite. Answer, tomorrow evening. Sutra na večer. Sutra na večer. There we go. Sutra u karuselu. Today, I want to have lunch at 3 o'clock. Danas želim lunch. Ručerati u 3 sata. Yeah, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, doesn't matter. At some point. At whole eight o'clock. Danas želim ručati u tri sata. Okay, we got you, bro. Say or at four. Ili u četiri. Ili u četiri. U četiri. At or tomorrow evening. U sutra na večer. Ili sutra na večer. Ah, ili, of course. Sutra na večer. How would she ask? At what time? U koliko sati? Koliko? You're literally asking at how many hours? What part of that means how many or how much? Koliko. Koliko. To ask how much things cost, you'd ask more politely, how much do I owe you? Just listen. Koliko vam dugujem? Koliko vam dugujem? Koliko vam dugujem? Literally, you're asking, how much to you I owe? Here's, I owe you. Poslušajte i ponovite. Dugujem vam. Vam. Dugujem. Dugujem vam. Jem. Jem. Which also means I eat, I think. Or at least in Russian it does. Dugujem. Say, I owe you. Duguyem vam. Duguyem vam. Or duguyem tebe. Is that the right word in informal? Ask, how much? Koliko. Koliko. Reminds me of Hatiko. Koliko vam duguyem. Notice how the words run together. Ask her again how much you owe her. I don't want to owe her anything. Koliko vam dugujem? Do you remember the Croatian word for one? Jedan? Jedan. Prva liga. Jedan. The Croatian unit of currency is the kuna. I know that. Imagine that you are counting your money. But for Listen some reason, repeat. everyone Five keeps telling kunas. me how much is in euros. Pet Pet kuna. kuna. Pet kuna. Kuna. Pet kuna. Say again. Five kunas. Pet kuna. Pet kuna. How would she say six or seven kunas? Šest ili sedam kuna. Six or sub seven. Sub six or sub seven. Okay, I guess that's it. Well, kind of works. Šest ili sedam. It's it's fun. You should try it. Try to learn a new language on the Nürburgring. I think that's uh, definitely one. an interesting content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. Again, I apologize for lack Here's of Santa content, one. but if you want to have one, 
watch it in the upper right corner where last year Tim and I, Shmi, uh, Tim, Shmi and I went out for a Santa lap while chasing Robert in the pista. So that's it. Um, see you guys next time. One more thing I want to say is that whenever you are like learning a new language, it's the best to go to a country where they speak it so you can practice it. And don't be afraid to speak it because the biggest problem, it was for me personally and for a lot of other people, when you try to communicate with someone like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to make mistakes and I don't want to look like a fool, but you are making an effort to learn someone else's language and to communicate with them and trust me. I mean, usually maybe it means that you already speak more than one language if they can like, communicate in yours. So like whichever country I go and uh, when you try to communicate, everyone appreciates it. So just go out there, be awesome. But anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Um, I don't know, Ukraine or in Croatia. And uh, if you like this video, let me know. We'll make another one in a month or maybe two months so we can see how my Croatian has improved or if I drop the whole idea, but uh, I'm gonna try to make it worth it count. Thanks, bye-bye.